Hello everybody, today I'll teach you how to install mods for really old versions of Minecraft, specifically alpha and beta versions of Minecraft, but also a handful of Minecraft versions for 1.6.3. To begin, download a program called WinRAR. If you have not done so already, you need to open up .jar files. Use the link in the description and simply look for your preferred language underneath all the beta versions and click the language to download an exe file. Simply run it and follow any instructions needed. Once you get rid of install another program called MVC, Minecraft Version Changer, and refer to the link in the description. Simply click download, check the agree statement, and click download again. Run the .jar file, and choose a Minecraft version under the Select Minecraft Version tab. tab sorry. For this demonstration, I will be using Minecraft Beta 1.7.3. Once you do that, a .jar file will be created in your .minecraft folder under Versions. Navigate to this folder, use run or windows search and type in percent app data percent. Press enter and you'll be taken to your roaming folder. In, your, in here, find your .micro folder, then in there, look for your versions folder, and in that folder, look for MVC. Then open the .jar file within that folder with WinRAR. Then let's go grab an old mod. To do this, go to mcarchive.net slash mods. This website contains a lot of mods that are no longer existent or no longer have existing download links. I will be installing the Aether mod as well as too many items for Minecraft 1.7.3 beta in this demonstration. So download the required mods and go back to your mvc.jar file. Now simply drag and drop all of the items within each .zip into the mvc.jar file and of course, do not forget to delete meta-inf. Then run Minecraft with MVC version selected, and that's it. There you go. And now you have too many items with the Aether mod installed. Quick note, if you have any issues with old Minecraft sounds not working, refer to the video description uh, down below uh, from Flash Frags that explains how to fix it. And that is it. Enjoy playing your classic mods. Thank you for tuning in, and au revoir.